I was treating patients with diabetes and other issues, but in lecturing on diabetes and epidemiology, and started figuring out that when hydrogen is in water, you can give it to patients with diabetes and other pathology, and you'll see blood glucose levels normalize. You'll see other things happen very significantly in the body. So I got really passionate about this because if we can prevent pathology, it's far better than putting a Band-Aid when there's a problem. So I'm extremely passionate about fixing the source of the issue. So let's go real quick. What is hydrogen and how can it help you? That's the, that's the two questions, right? That's what we're here for. What is it and what can it do for me? So let's talk about hydrogen real quick. Number one, it's, it's number one on the periodic table because it is tiny. And because it is tiny, it has tremendous benefits. When you drive around New York, the small cars can fit more places, right? You don't want a huge car here, you want a tiny little car. Well, that's the same as hydrogen. Hydrogen is so small, it can go anywhere it needs to go in your body very quickly, very easily, so that it can fix issues that you have. So, what does it do? As it says up here, it reduces oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Now that's critical. Why is that critical? Because most disease, most pathology is caused by what? Oxidative stress. Or the inability of the body to reduce oxidative stress back into a normal range. This is our problem. We talk about homeostasis. We talk about fixing ourselves and getting back to homeostasis. Well, what does that really mean? That means balancing oxidative stress and reduction. And that's what we need to do. We can't have more oxidative stress or too much reduction of oxidative stress. We need oxidative stress to have proper health, but we cannot have too much oxidative stress. That's the reality. So hydrogen naturally reduces oxidative stress, but it does not do it like typical antioxidants. I think all of you are familiar with antioxidants. Antioxidants are electron donors, typically is the way we think of an, uh, an antioxidant. Well, that's good, but it can also be an issue because when, when a substance donates an electron, it actually becomes a pro-oxidant. And so it can become an issue greater than the problem that you had. In hydrogen, it is not an electron donor. And I'll show you a study in just a few minutes from Nature Medicine on the fact that hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, diatomic hydrogen, is a strategic antioxidant that only reacts with cytotoxic or cell damaging free radicals. So the things that are damaging the cells of the body, that's what hydrogen reacts with. Things like hydroxyl radicals, the most cell damaging free radical in the body, also superoxide, for instance, which is another very powerful reactive oxygen species. So these are the kind of things that hydrogen does. Hydrogen only reaches and reacts with the very, very cell damaging free radicals in the body. And it does not touch the free radicals in the body that have a physiological role. Or in other words, they sustain life, okay? So we also have ghrelin secretions. I don't know how many of you have heard of ghrelin secretion. How many of you have heard of ghrelin? Okay, very good. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone. So if you've ever felt hungry, then you're feeling the effects of ghrelin. How many of you have heard of leptin? Good. Cat James, which is right back in the booth back here, one of the best lecturers on leptin sensitivity. If you haven't, go talk to her about leptin sensitivity. Ghrelin and leptin are two master hormones in the body that control fat storing, energy, a number of different things. And hydrogen regulates ghrelin and leptin in the body very, very beautifully. Ghrelin is created in the stomach when, and when hydrogen gets into the stomach, it stimulates ghrelin secretions. Now that can be beneficial for neurologic disorders, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autism, things of this nature that are lacking ghrelin secretions because of gut damage, hydrogen stimulates ghrelin secretions. 
It can be very powerful for neurologic disorder prevention and, and help for those that already have neurologic, neurologic disorders. It can be tremendously helpful. The other thing that, that, that can happen with hydrogen is increased energy. I think all of us probably want increased energy, right? At some point or another, it'd be nice to have an energy boost. And at the end of the day, we'll, we'll look at another study on anaerobic microflora. So we just heard a lecture on colostrum and how we can repair the gut. Well, I'll tell you the most important thing we can do is keep the gut healthy because 60% of our immune system is tied to gut health. So if we can improve gut integrity, microbiome, and have good bacteria that are inhabiting our gut, we will not be susceptible to the things that are going all around. Okay, that's the bottom line. We all know that we can be in a room with sick people and we don't always get sick, right? It's not an automatic, it's not a guarantee. If we have a healthy immune system, then our body can reject these things. We don't, we aren't susceptible, all right?